partnered by Times Influence. Hello and a very warm welcome to HSBC Premier's boarding call in partnership with Times Network. This is a very special series solely aimed to redefine the meaning of a life richly lived. What if each one of us had to look back and say, Wow, my life has been truly rich. What an amazing journey it's truly been. Would we be able to do that? We truly believe that life's riches are not the millions you rake up in your bank, but they are a sum total of experiences, memories and the smiles which you light up on the faces of the people you love and the lives that you touch. And what better way to bring alive this belief than through a delightful act enacted by Ashish Vidyarthi, Sandhya Mridul and Cyrus Sahukar. Now this act revolves around Dhruv, a mid-management executive who fearing for his job had to leave for a business trip on his wedding anniversary. Obviously, his wife is miffed and he's in a tight spot. Waiting at the terminal for his flight, can Dhruv do anything to pacify his wife? Let's find out. It's your 10th wedding anniversary, no? Mm. Mm. That's kind of special, man. I think you're supposed to gift each other some kind of metal or something. Some tin or copper. Yeah, yeah but it's not like that with us. Hey, you're spending your wedding anniversary with me. Who per se you're not giving her a gift? But Ali, unlike you, we are not the couple that are into this symbolic anniversary <laughs> shit. Why? I know that. But you know that 10 is a pretty big symbol, no? Yes, yes, I do, I do. Unlike you, Maya gets it. She, she always gets it. Plus, I'm not out there partying or having fun with people. I'm working here. It's a high stress job and, and I'm doing it for us. And she knows that. She gets it. Ali, I'm missing my anniversary too, you know. I understand that and Maya might be the most reasonable person in the world. All I'm saying is a gift won't hurt, yeah. I know, I know. I, I get it. Yeah. I'm not sure about tin and aluminium, but a diamond always works. Yeah. Which is why, brother, I have planned something. A diamond heart. Stacky. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. No, no, you're right. She'll also say the same. Hey, what is what is that, yeah? Hey, that's nice. Balls. I like it, diamond ball. No! It's sugar cubes. Yeah. Oh, man, brilliant, brilliant. Whatever it is, I'm getting it for. But then if she doesn't like it, now it'll become worse. You have to. Just chime it. I'll surprise you. You're going to be surprised. You're going to be divorced. No, no, Ali, that's it. I don't want to hear anymore. Oh, look, 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 look. I love these public dramas, man. Just wait for the screaming match to unfold now. You're a weird guy. Yeah. Somebody's misery, like, amuses you. Yeah. Once I got so lucky, I was sitting next to this, you know, couple in a plane. They had this one iPad. One headphone in one ear, the other in one ear. Like a very cute type of couple. Now the guy wanted to watch Game of Thrones and the girl wanted to watch Deer Zindagi. Oh. 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 It was so crazy. Yeah. Oh. 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 And because he's looking sheepish right now, and she is super violent. She's gonna hit him right now. Just don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> wow, and she's yeah. rewarding him with a hug. Great job, huh, Sherlock? Hey, then there's only one explanation, yeah? He's married to someone else. And I'm telling you, he's married to someone else. They're off on their naughty weekend together. 100%. <laughs> Terrible person, man. I can put my life on it. Just bet. Just Whatever it is, how are we ever gonna know? You don't think I can ask him? Ask him. I can yeah. very easily no, go. You're gonna ask him. Are you on a dirty very, weekend? You don't know. I was the one who found Ankita and Ankita together in that water fountain. Yeah. You know that, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I can ask him. Or oh, easy. Excuse me, sir. Oh. Uh, no, not credit card. No, 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 home loan either. I'm not a. Do I look no like a time share, please, <laughs> sir? I'm, I'm really sorry about my friend, sir. Come, come, come. What happened? 
please. No, it's just that we were just wondering about your little celebration. That's all. I, I'm really, really sorry. I thought that you were trying to push a sale or something. <laughs> I misbehaved. The coffee is on me. No coffee or please. Wow, thank we you. We were actually wondering what the celebration might be because you guys look so happy. It's our anniversary. Ah. Uh, oh. oh. India has lost another wicket. Yeah, it's make or break at Kotla tomorrow. Yeah, and the problem is our middle order is not holding up. Correct. Know, but Tony is going to fire. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, yeah, you think so? 100%. Because I think that if they if they don't do it, then it's just going to be just going down. Give the change, and uh, you're making the bill also. All right, guys. Some coffee for you there. Thank you. And uh, sir, I'm Dhruv. Thanks yeah, for the sir, coffee. I'm, I'm Ali. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Come, I'll I'll introduce you to my wife. Oh, lovely. Anniversary wife. Yeah. <laughs> Come. Hello. Hi. And uh, this is Dhruv. Ali. Tell me. Hi. Happy anniversary, by the way. Oh, thank you. We were just talking to your husband about the cricket scores. Oh, is that right? I see your vacation's already begun. With cricket. <laughs> no, no, no. They were talking. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Where are you guys off to? Uh, Delhi. I suppose we're all on the same flight. Yeah, Ooh, the yeah. same flight that takes 20 to 40 minutes before it can land. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a frequent traveller. Yeah, far too frequent for my liking. She flies Bel Air, cabin crew. Oh, wow. Which is why I wasn't very happy about more planes and, you know, airports and... I'm kidding! I'm so excited about the surprise! Hey! Someone you know? Oh, Reena! Hold! Yeah. Hey, Reena! This entire trip is like a treasure hunt for her. And listen, please don't mention cricket in front of her. Sorry, I, I didn't know. That's Sorry. a complete no-no. In fact, on this trip, I booked some train rides, boat rides and a few uh, treks too. Kept the flights to an absolute minimum. She doesn't, she hates flights. <laughs> in fact, the first clue is going to come on this flight. It'll come with the pre-booked meal. The colleagues are in on it. Man, that's like... The first time ever someone's going to enjoy an airline meal. My God, that sounds like a lot of planning went into it. Yeah, a few months easily. Hey, thanks. And the biggest trouble was to get her to fly. Mm. She just hates flying, mm. especially when she's not working. It's a lot of cajoling just to get her to the airport. So, so all this planning must have required a, a travel agent. No, no, I did it myself with this online stuff. Of course, friends and family helped and a lot of secrecy. In fact, at one point, I was so secretive, she was sure I was having an affair. <laughs> Just look at that smile on her face. Doesn't it make it worth it all? Man, the most meaningful gift I've ever given my girlfriend is an air fryer. Yeah, I don't know why she dumped me. <laughs> oh, those things usually don't work. You could try a spa voucher the next time. Genius. Dhruv, man, take some notes, yeah. Oh, I know. I'm taking notes. No, but really, I'm, I'm supremely impressed. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you even come up with a plan like this? You just have to learn to notice what they want. Mrs. Sana. You have my... Tell me, tell me, tell me that you have my boarding card. Mrs. Sana, I just want to check with you. How do you manage to be a hotshot flyer, day in and day out, when you're with me, something happens? <laughs> I know, right? It's like I have a brain freeze when I'm not operating a flight. So, guys, what else is up other than cricket? Well, what's up is that he's spending his 10th wedding anniversary with me. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. Tell him. Yeah, yeah, it, it is a big deal. 10 is a big number. Hey, that's what I said. I know, guys. I, I understand. It's, lately, I've been really busy and almost missing from my own life. That sounds just like Rahul, doesn't it? Rahul? My ex-husband? That line just about sums him up. He was always absent from his own life. Give him a break, please. You give me a break, please, and play the jealous husband card and stop defending my ex-husband. All oh, right, I'll try. <laughs> and listen, Mr. 10th anniversary, we did not hear here. 10 is for tin, they say, right? Aluminium? Aluminium. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry, but can I ask you one more question? Yeah? I promise I'll leave you in peace after Okay. That. You know, I was just wondering, uh, how did the two of you meet? You know, because I'm always thinking about how, you know, the one, so... One. Well, Rahul, she and I 
We knew each other in college. Then life took over. After my father passed away, I moved cities. Took charge of my house. I had to take care of Ma and my two younger brothers. And, uh, well, Rahul and I were just a matter of time. After some time, his absence became so normal that his presence didn't matter at all. You know what I mean? Um, so something snapped and fortunately for me, I was busy. My work was just taking off a pun that Manoj hates, but I love using it, so. <laughs> and then obviously the two of you met later after all those years. Hmm, that is a very interesting story. Which she loves to narrate. Yes. So I was operating a flight. It was a horror of a flight. There were passengers everywhere just freaking out. Sir, please. नहीं आप अभी टॉयलेट नहीं जा सकते देखिए सीट बेल्ट साइन ऑन है प्लीज प्लीज अपनी कुर्सी की पेड़ी बांध लीजिए और बैठ जाइए सर मैम मैं आपको पानी दे रही हूँ प्लीज आप अपने बच्चे को अपने गोदी पे रखिए प्लीज सीट बेल्ट साइन ऑन है मैम प्लीज रिलैक्स एंड देन आई सॉ हिम मनोज मनु फ्रॉम कॉलेज आई यू रियली लाइक हिम सो आई सेट वाई नॉट गोइन से हेलो टू हिम एक्सक्यूज मी सर प्लीज डोट डिस्टर्ब नो सर डोंट यू सी द डी एन डी आई कैन बिलीव दिस He doesn't recognize me. I have the same hairstyle for God's sake. This is ridiculous. Sir, Saint Xavier's Hostel, room 314. I'll ask someone else to take your order, Mr. Manu. Thank you. He deserved it. Shanu? Shanu Malhotra? I did behave like a moron. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's an amazing story, yeah. Huh? And clearly it ended happily. So congratulations. Well, after the flight in which I behaved like a moron, we got back in touch, picked up our friendship, and uh, I actually surprised myself by asking her to marry me. No, you surprised me. For one month, every day, he sent me flowers, he wrote me poems, he invited me home for dinner, he even cooked dinner for me. Something I know that he hates doing now. He actually is telling you that I exhausted her into saying yes. Yeah, you did actually. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> No, it was just it was just so wonderful. And you know, I'm a, I'm a sort of no frills person, right? But this man managed to break through that defense and I have to admit, now I enjoy that intelligence. I really do. This is the final boarding announcement for flight 621. And that's our boarding call. Of course. Could you just check the boarding card? It's all here. No, 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 just do it once more. Check it, Shalu. Do it for me. I'm neurotic. I'm sorry. Please. This is your boarding card, and this is uh, what's this? And this is uh, Shalud. These look like cricket match tickets for Kotla. Happy anniversary, Mr. Sena. How did you manage this? Why, boy? Why? Surprise! करने का ठेका सिर्फ आपके लिए रखा है. Shalud, and and these are these are two tickets. Hmm. You go to watch cricket match with me. Of course, it's a good day to start. And like they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Wow! <laughs> I want to shout. Oh, please go ahead. I need to shout. I'm going to the Kotla <laughs> to watch cricket. This is unbelievable. This is amazing. And it's a VIP box. Too. This yes. is amazing. It's yes. maybe ten years. Maybe ten years, people. Oh, ah! Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Don't forget to surprise your wife. Yeah, it's it's just that Maya's not very big on surprises. Oh. Everybody's big on surprises. Look at him. He's screaming like a kid in a candy store. Yes, I really want to know how did you manage it. I'll tell you. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. 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 So I called up him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, "Okay, I can help you with this." I'm But like, "Yeah, please." Go classic. Hey man, they're really cute, yeah. They are. Yeah. Chale. Ali, what am I doing with my life? I don't have time. Maya doesn't like surprises. The truth is you spend long enough with a person and little by little you slowly just stop paying attention. Why can't I surprise my wife? She's my wife. Yeah. That's what I've been saying to you man. Give her those sugar cubes. Brother right now the best present I can give Maya is to start with at least being present in my own life. Chale. We'll miss our flight. Noli, you'll miss your flight. I'm going home. You'll handle it, right? I'll handle it. Okay. I'm catching a cab. Yeah.
Maya, it totally worked. The plan worked, man. Dhruv realizes. And those those actors that you hired were amazing, Maya. They were fabulous. What? What do you mean you changed the plan? So you didn't hire any actors. But then who were those guys? I Oh Maya. Maya, Maya, you don't understand what has just happened. This is like this is should be in the movies, man, and we should get Ashish Vidyarthi and That was a classic case of Dhruv answering his true boarding call. It's time now for a short break, but on the other side, a legend gives a sneak peek into a life richly lived. We'll be right back. My primary identity is that of being a woman. My second identity is that of being an Indian, and then it is everything. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to HSBC Premier's boarding call in partnership with Times Network. Noted American poet and civil rights activist Maya Angelou once said, and I quote, "Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away." This inspires us to put the spotlight on a legend whose life is a treasure trove of many iconic moments. Here's a look. Ma'am, you've donned many roles in life: that of an accomplished actor, a social activist, a member of parliament, a sister, a daughter, a wife, a friend. So, of all the roles that you've played, which one do you cherish the most? Um, it becomes very difficult to say that because all the various aspects of my life are part of who I am. So, I, if you were to tell me what my primary identity is, my primary identity is that of being a woman. My second identity is that of being an Indian, and then it is everything together. But uh, my strongest connect with the world is through my womanhood. And ma'am, building on that, a woman in this day and age, with so many competing priorities, how does she live a life that's richly lived, that's enriching, that's fulfilling, that's happy? You know, I think the pressures of modern day living uh, are really, uh, really difficult for the woman because she has this pressure to be the perfect uh, woman, and she wants to be the perfect woman. But I think it's a very hard task, and so what you really have to do is to prioritize. You have to make sure that there are certain aspects of your life uh, that. You will have to give second position to because there are other things that are of value. Now, ma'am, you're already a living legend, but nonetheless, speaking of legacies, what would you like to be most remembered for by future generations? She played the game. Was the motto of my school, Queen Mary's, and um, I think that, in a sense, sums up that you remained connected to life, that you drew your. Resource base from life itself, because I think if you can find the truth of who you are from life, then you cannot go wrong. And ma'am, to close, any words of advice to our viewers who are looking to live fulfilling lives of their own, and how do you suggest that they tune in to their inner calling? So first, you need to have a dream, and then you need to work towards it. You have to first turn towards yourself, and only when you feel fulfilled. Can you give completely to the other? Ma'am, such moving words, words to live by, words to remember. We thank you for your time for sharing your message with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. While we all dream to live a rich life, making it a reality is not possible without financial security. HSBC India Stuart Mill tells us why planning is necessary. When you talk about financial security, 
How do you place it in the important things, in the order of all the important things in your life? Well, I think it's important to get to a point where you have financial security. Uh, I don't see that as being an end in itself. It's more a question of uh, making sure you're in a position to provide for yourself and for your family. Um, and then from there you can go on and do the other things that lead to a fulfilled life. So it's, for me, it's sort of a hygiene factor, something you need to get right, mm -hmm. but it's not actually the be all and end all. Okay. And how important is planning in leading this fulfilled life? Very important, I think. Uh, um, planning, you know, first of all, in terms of financial, uh, the financial aspects of that, really important. And particularly now that interest rates are so low that um, you, you need to be thinking long term, uh, particularly if you're, you know, if you're young right now and looking at the future, how do you plan for retirement? These things you need to start doing now because with interest rates the way they are, um, actually there isn't a lot of room for error. Very true. You mentioned family. So is there a legacy that you wish to leave behind for both your family at home as well, at your, as, well as your family at work? Uh, I think the key thing is to be the person you are and not try to be somebody else. Right. To, to, uh, to, to take your own path, uh, to, to go where your life leads you, yeah. uh, not to be led by somebody else. That's really important. I think the other aspect is uh, to be uh, truthful, um, to be open with people. I think this is, uh, this is really important too in terms of long-term relationships and, and uh, right. trust, trustful relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, if I say the term a rich life, what does that mean to you? What does leading a rich life mean to you? It's, it's a complex question. I mean, first of all, I think for me, it's about uh, the memories you have, mm. the memories, those really outstanding mm. memories that you have, like the first time you saw your wife on your wedding day, yeah. or if you were there when your children were born. These are things that mm. uh, they're, they're images and experiences that will stay with you for the rest mm. of your life. Uh, and I think uh, it's all about how many of those images can you collect during your lifetime? And the more you collect, the wealthier you are. Thank you so much, Stuart, for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's time to take your leave, ladies and gentlemen. But as the series unfolds, we'll continue to unveil more such secrets of living a truly accomplished life. So tune into this space same time next week for more. Till then, goodbye and many thanks for watching. Partnered by Times Influence.